there was definitely an opportunity there for Hero to move in and do some damage to that third base. Thank you. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and with that not being done, uh, it kind of, you know. Yeah, I mean, Puma does chances. an incredibly good job of exploiting the basic structure of the map. That's right. That dollar has helped save esports, I think. It has. Now, to note, that map is just a long, wide rectangle. So that means that the distances between the bases for the pushing, very small. Any slight misstep that Hero does, Puma can immediately exploit with a fast push. So by having the drop at the far right side, and the push was actually sweeping in along the left of that top expansion, Hero's units were peeled apart. And in Puma's position, if he went to the main and saw that there were way too many units there, he just pulls back away. It's a very simple exploit that works particularly well on dual side, just due to mm -hmm. the closeness of the two mains. And that, of course, uh, does play a lot into exactly what we uh, saw there, because as we mentioned, you know, Puma had great decision making. He never really overextended or overcommitted in any of those attacks on the third base. And so that gave him a lot more freedom, forced Hero to take the action that spread him out a little bit more. Remember, he had those stalkers mm -hmm. inside the main that he had to have to deal with that, uh, but it made his ground army a little bit weaker. So Antigua Shipyard is going to be our second map yeah. chosen by Liquid Hero. I do love this choice of map. This is the one map where Hero was able to take down EG's Puma in game seven at DreamHack. And it does definitely allow for those longer macro games. It's going to all come down if he can control that Blink Stalker micro properly. And now it's time to start game number two of Liquid Hero versus EG Puma, the rematch. Now, if we look at it historically, Hero should win this matchup. But best of seven situation, Puma obviously looking to uh, change the course of history here after losing to Liquid Hero uh, during the Thanksgiving weekend at DreamHack winner. Let's introduce our players on the southeast side of the map, hailing from Team Evil Geniuses. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for EG Puma. And up in the north position, currently down 0-1, but well-versed in the art of the comeback. It is Liquid Hero. The rivalry, the rivalry is certainly strong with these two. Day 9, not only have we seen them uh, face before, but of course we've got the underlying Team Liquid versus Evil Geniuses oh. rivalry that seems to be ringing throughout the community and of course in the most friendly way possible. I think that we are so lucky to have these types of rivalries available to us in the world of pro gaming. And uh, now here we are in uh, game number two. Looks like Hero with the scout that is not gonna get blocked and the pro does make it inside. Puma has been pretty diligent all tournament about oftentimes trying to get that supply depot down as quickly as possible, but it's just not gonna happen here on Antigua. And it looks like Hero is opting to send this probe to its death. I mean, he's sending it right after he builds his first pylon on nine. He can get out. Right now, Puma generally does have enough money to build that extra depot. But Hero is saying, I don't want you to do any kind of shenanigans. I don't want you trying to wall off and convince me that you're not going to be early expanding. He wants to know for a fact a fast command center is coming. That's exactly what he's going to end up seeing. No even delayed gas. And we see the Nexus first coming oh, down for Hero. Makes a lot of sense why he wanted to check up on his opponent. Yeah, you know, additionally, throughout the games of NESL that have featured Puma, we've seen Puma be very, very comfortable with sort of a non-scouting approach to the early game, getting that scout in when he feels like he's ready to do so. Mm -hmm. In some cases, it's put him in a really, really terrible situation. In others, it's, you know, basically worked out for him quite well. So we are going to see this probe still sneak around. God, as, that, uh, that probe is pretty slick. He I'm is. Gonna, I'm not going to lie. Marine finally takes him out, denying him vision. And finally, the SCV is going to come up here. Maybe be a little surprised to see that glowing orb of warping. That is a Nexus. But he just backs off. Actually, no. He comes back in, says, I want to see what's going on inside this base. Now, here's an interesting moment where Puma could potentially try to plant down some sort of bunker, freak his opponent out. One Zealot is on a route, and we do see some of the Nexus energy is saved up. I would venture to say the hero is going to be spending almost all of that on his early warp gate. Puma is going to try to step into action. 
keep in mind that Marines and Zealots do move at the same speed, so that does mean that he can end up retreating if for some reason he feels under too much duress, but you know, a little bit of an odd cancel there by Hero on the gas. Well, SCV moves over, and is SCV going to do some? Uh, he just uh, is going to scout that uh, northeast location. Probe does get taken out by the two Marines through the middle, and now we will have that Zealot making his way out to the center of the map. While the Marines do have vision, now a third one coming up here at the tower. The uh, probes have started to occupy the Nexus at the natural for Hero. And meanwhile, he is chrono boosting out that warp gate research, throwing down another gateway and a second oh, gas. Wow, here's something a little bit cute. Zelda is gonna swing all the way around. Is he actually gonna start working on the rocks? No, he's gonna try to cut off the retreat path of these Marines. He's gonna just waltz directly down. Oh, wow. Are you serious? This is, he has the most ninja units ever and walking right in. Well, hello, Mr. Half Done Bunker. Poor Marine. Now in the mood to do a little bit of micromanagement, but Puma's gonna need to try to lift up those depots soon. Brilliant maneuver by Puma, allowing this Marine to die, lifting up those supply depots. He desperately wants to prevent his opponent from seeing that a factory is down now. And Sean, the stalker in the middle did get taken out by those four Marines. I think that so much attention being paid to that Zealot actually lost him. That Ooh. stalker in the middle of the map. And now once again, Zealot trying to get inside the base. And he oh, walks right no. over the lowered supply depot. In and out goes the Marine, but the vision goes to Hero. He lost the stalker, but he's getting a great look at what's going on inside of Puma's base. And Zealot doing a great impersonation of that probe from minute two. Yeah. <laughs> he might try to do some things with this smoke up here. I don't know, Mark. Because we will have to see. He will instead opt to be dead. And it looks like the stalker from here continuing to poke and prod around, but this is what Puma's big plan in mind is. Oh, Hero smells something. His spider sense is going crazy. He saw a factory with a tech lab add on, and it looks like he is going to step right in. Yeah. Hello, Puma. Yep, and uh, that tech lab not done quite yet. There, we're going to see it now being worked on. It's going to be lifted off. He's going to have to sacrifice that tech lab. Meanwhile, during the Zealot distraction, there was also this uh, sneaky little pylon put in here by Hero as he brought forward not only a couple Stalkers, but also this probe to plant that down. So Stalker's gonna take care of that tech lab, not get rid of that, and it's gonna be a long time before that Starport makes his way home. That's okay, the incredible Disney journey of the Starport in the straight line path back home. And this will actually take about 90 minutes. So it looks like Hero, oh my god! <laughs> it looks like it might be the Journey Home, the miniseries, because that starport is under a lot of trouble. But Puma, I think, doing a brilliant counter-response, building a third command center immediately, mm -hmm. and calmly transitioning into a big barracks play. What I'm worried for is that unit count. He only has a single Marauder, 10 Marines, and the poor starport, oh my god. Yeah, and it's burning. It's burn. It's on fire. That's right. Oh my God! This starport has 99 problems, and each one is a point of health. It, it is uh, very, very bad that he's going to lose that. It did absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things. Now, factory going to be moving on over. While we have Hero with Blink now finished, setting up here for a potential Blink Stalker attack. We oh, do I have love the one bunker, the second one being constructed right now. And I'll tell you what, if that does not get up before this attack comes, I do not know how he is going to be able to stop this. Meanwhile, Nexus, the third, goes down for Hero as well. He has total control over this game. Oh my god, this poor Starport just saying, Captain, I'm doing exactly what you told me to do and I don't like it too much. It's going to be hanging out in outer space. And you know, I do love this place so much. On Antigua Shipyard, the distance from the main to the front to the third, almost nil on the outside. But from the defender's point of view, it is a huge amount of distance to cover. You can easily begin oh. poking around. It looks like Hero's going to do an investigation. Oh, Hero is going to blink up. Oh. It's Combat Shield. Combat Shield is eliminated. A single lone Marauder gets taken out as well. And now it looks like Hero is going to be blinking down one at a time. He's not retreating. There's no skim done. Oh. Oh, Puma, oh no, Hero, conquering Marauders, the Stalkers alone controlling that meticulously more Stalkers. Oh, ho, ho, ho. where did they come from, Hero, hello. Wow. Steps right on into the Marine Marauder, taking it out, the mule steps into the fray despite not even having an attack. <laughs> He really wanted a piece of that action, but quite frankly, that was not oh. great for Puma. That could be the blink of death here as more SCVs coming to aid. They've nearly all even dropped. 
And uh, the GG, any moment, the uh, Marines that were inside the bunkers were not there to assist the initial army. More SCVs popping in as the Marauders come out. There are just simply too many Stalkers, despite the fact that many of them are down to one oh. hit point, 14 hit points. That is it, oh, GG! Good game. Liquid Hero with an impressive Stalker-only victory over Ichi's Puma. And you know, that goes to show Puma did the same look. He had five barracks, he had the medevacs coming out two at a time, but it was delayed just a smidge mm. by that hidden starport play, and a smidge is all Hero needed to crush the main right before Stim, Combat Shield were both done. Yeah, and the Combat Shield got eliminated almost immediately. Stim, well, it almost didn't matter because at yeah, that point, yeah. the units were starting to deplete there from Puma. And ultimately, just great timing, good patience. Of yeah, course, yeah. once the Observer floated in, it was pretty much victory at that point. And it's so easy in a spot like that to be Liquid Hero and to say, well, you always have to be careful when you blink into the main. You're trying to harass. You're not trying to win the game. For that Observer to go in there, see that there were units already set in there, that there were medevacs ready, Marines, Marauders, decently well positioned, and say, I can absolutely take that. That is amazing on-the-fly decision-making. I think that's what makes Hero Styles so scary to play against. He doesn't have just one way that he plays, but whatever he brings to the table, you know he is going to be using that razor-thin judgment and doing those amazing leaps forward. And, of course, his control, which played a major factor in the game as well, blinking the Stalkers to the low ground and putting them out of danger to the point where they're actually still able to do a little bit of damage. But if the army of Puma wanted to go forward and try to take out those low HP Stalkers, they were yeah. going to take a lot of damage in the meantime. Definitely. So.